welcome again to this particular session and in this particular session the topic which we are picking up is very very significant important formidable no doubt about that and little bit clumsy also but we on our part definitely are not going to leave any stone unturned and making it as simple as possible as normally we do correct so here we go and pick up this particular topic first of all okay first of all let me explain accommodation of the bill this is the topic which we are picking up but what exactly this accommodation of bill before we start the journey to comprehend this tedious topic let me make it clear that so far whatever we have discussed regarding the bill of exchange so far our discussion was confined to trade bills correct trade bills if you remember in all the questions we had seen actually that a was drawing a bill or x was drawing a bill upon b and earlier it used to give that he sold the goods that mean in case of trade bill there is some consideration which was passed from the drawer of the bill to the drawee and drawee is then accepting the bill are you getting my point for example if i sell the goods to you so consideration goods is coming to you you are supposed to pay me some amount so for the same you are accepting a bill so generally in case of trade bill some consideration actually involves however we are going to actually now discuss the accommodation of bill what is this accommodation bill accommodation bill don't write at this moment it's a rough work accommodation bill under accommodation bill the name itself is very interesting isn't it under accommodation bill we will see no consideration passes for example just try to comprehend and grasp this way for example mr a is there he is in desperate need of some money correct and he has a friend by the name of mr b now mr a approaches his friend mr b and tells his what we call story that i am in desperate need of money i urgently requires let us say 1 lakh rupees so please give me 1 lakh now b says what the hell you are talking about even i myself is not in a very healthy position as far as finance is concerned i am also very down and out and you are asking me to actually pay 1 lakh to you where i will get the money this to actually arrange and then how i will pay you so i am not in a position to pay you a of course get little bit saddened by the statement of b but still b is his very fast friend so a tells b okay well you are not in a position to pay me out of your pocket you can do me a favor i will draw a bill upon you i will draw a bill upon you let us say on 1121 a says i will draw a bill upon you you simply sign that bill accept that bill now mr b may again actually feel very what we call amused by this statement b will tell you have not sold any goods to me neither you have lent any money to me why the hell in the world i should actually sign this bill now a then emotionally blackmails him he says you are my fast friend in thick and thin times so please at this moment actually i am in need of money you need not require to worry about uh, the signing of the bill because the person who will sign the bill ultimately he will have to clear the bill also but anyways ultimately a is able to persuade his best friend b and b signs the bill let us say signing the bill means now uh, let us say he signing the bill means he has accepted the bill and now bill has been drawn and accepted let us say this bill has been accepted on this particular date itself now what a will do on the same date a approaches his bank a approaches his bank and discounts the bill of course bank will charge something but important thing is that let us say bank charges 1000 and pays 99000 to what we call mr a but the point here is that problem of a gets solved because he gets the cash readily he did not get the cash from b directly but indirectly he got it from b he got the bill discounted from bank and bank has paid him 99000 important thing is that we presume this bill is what we call of 3 months tenure so maturity date will be 4421 now because on the maturity date this particular bill is in the hands of bank now bank will approach mr b because he is the person who has signed the bill so he is supposed to clear the bill to the bank but the problem is that b has signed the bill without any what we call consideration received so it is always presumed that just prior to the maturity date 
A will pay Mr. B the amount of bill so that B is in a position to clear the bill. So this is a this is a sort of arrangement to arrange the finance with a mutual understanding. So that is why it is known as accommodation of bills because both parties are accommodating themselves in this arrangement. Generally the drawer is known as accommodated party, accommodated party and the party who signs the bill is known as accommodating party. Generally draw is the accommodating party and the person who draws the bill who is in need of the money is known as accommodated party. Draw is known as accommodating party. Are you getting my point? This is one thing. So I hope you have been able to understand the meaning of accommodation bill. Correct? Under the accommodation of the bill, the drawer will draw the bill upon the drawee and he will get the bill discounted. Because on the maturity date bill is in the hands of the bank, bank will approach the drawee. So we always presume that before the maturity date, this person will pay back uh, the money which is equal to the amount of the bill so that this person is able to clear the bill. Number one, three situations are generally visualized under accommodation of the bill. One situation is similar to the one which I just mentioned. Let us say first situation. In this situation what we see, one person is drawing the bill, correct? And he is getting the bill discounted from the bank and using the money till the maturity time. Let us say maturity time is three months. So whatever money is received, he is using all alone. But before the maturity date, just prior to the maturity date, he is under an obligation to pay to the drawee, the person who has signed the bill, so that drawee can clear the bill. That means the first situation is where other party is accommodated, but only for the benefit of the drawer. Only for the benefit of the drawer means the person who is drawing the bill, he is using the money. This is one situation, not very tough, later on we will see. There could be a second situation which we can visualize this way. Even in this situation, one party will accommodate the other party. Let us say Mr. A again draws a bill. But this time, after discounting the bill, let us say bill amount is 1 lakh and tenure is 3 months. Correct? He has drawn the bill. bill Mr. B has signed the bill. A will discount, get some money. Let us say he gets 99,000. This amount, this time, will not be used by A all alone. This time, let us say there is an agreement between these two that we will use the proceeds equally. So, 99,000 after discounting the bill is the amount which has been received by Mr. A and he will keep the half the money with himself and half the money will be delivered to Mr. B. So, this time, drawer is accommodating the party but for the mutual benefit. This is second situation. Even in this case, one party is accommodating the other party, but the proceeds are being utilized by both drawer and the drawee. Just prior to the due date, he will provide his share to Mr. B so that B is in a position to clear the bill because half of the proceeds has already been received by what we call Mr. B. Isn't it or not? This is second situation. And we will see the third one, which happens to be a bit what we call complicated. In this situation, both parties may draw upon each other a bill and they will utilize the proceeds, correct? And accordingly, its settlement will be done. But how the settlement will be done, that's the moot point and that we are going to discuss later on, correct? So three situations can be what we call visualized as far as accommodation of bill is concerned. So this was with respect to accommodation of bill. First of all, come along with me and write a note. Accommodation of bill, correct? So that whatever we have said, uh, you can retain because I have seen sometimes students tend to forget. Just let me settle the sheets and accommodation of bill. Accommodation of bill. Right here. I will simply write AOB. AOB means accommodation of bill. It is not a legal short form. Just for the sake of writing, I am making it. So, accommodation bill 
accommodation bill are drawn are drawn and accepted and accepted with no consideration with no consideration no consideration passes the droy party does not receive any goods or services with no consideration passed or received passed or received bills which are drawn bills which are drawn just bills which are drawn just to oblige just hold on just hold on. extremely sorry so i was talking about bills which are drawn just to oblige just to oblige a friend who is in need of money who is in need of money with sole intention of with sole intention of raising funds raising funds for ready cash are known as accommodation bills are known as accommodation bills correct this is what we explained i'm using the short form ab accommodation bill the drawer of the bill the drawer of the bill is known as accommodated party accommodated party while while the party which accepts the bill the party which accepts the bill that is droy is called accommodating party is called accommodating party
correct drawer or accommodated party drawer or accommodated party discounts the bill discounts the bill and utilizes the proceeds utilizes the proceeds either himself either himself or proceeds are utilized mutually proceeds are utilized mutually he may use the proceed all alone or he may or they may utilize the proceeds are utilized mutually just prior to the due date 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 comma drawer provides funds to draw that is accommodating party to clear the bill as there is mutual understanding as there is always a mutual understanding a mutual understanding between the parties between the parties mutual understanding is that i will draw i will provide you the funds between the parties these bills are called accommodation bills difference between difference between trade bills and accommodation bills trade bills and accommodation bills let's pick up some differences so as to make you understand better just a moment i said no consideration passed but generally right here trade bills are drawn
by creditors i sold goods to you so i am your creditor i will draw the bill are drawn by creditors and accepted by debtors accepted by debtors these are not drawn by creditors because they are not drawn by creditors automatically it means they are not accepted by debtors when a drew a bill upon b a was not the creditor of b neither b was my debtor correct in our example creditors this much is enough this is first major difference there are basically three main differences second no consideration no consideration is involved no consideration passes or received sorry i am talking about trade bills consideration passes and received that mean trade bills are generally drawn against proper consideration here no consideration is involved no consideration is involved consideration passes or received third trade bills are proof of debts trade bills are proof of debts means i have sold the goods to you and i am supposed to receive some money from you so this bill is a legal proof because it is signed by you trade bill is proof of debts however accommodation bills ab accommodation bills are not proof of debts are not proof of debts law does not does not consider accommodation bill as proof of debts so these are the things which you must be in the know before we attempt as i said questions on accommodation of bills is it clear to you so these are the theoretical parts and just have a look over question number 21 question number 21 i told you three situations we may face isn't it i'm talking about the first situation now this is case study 21 in this case study first of all let's go through it and try to understand it mr a9 accepted a bill for 20000 drawn by b9 now b9 is drawing a bill upon a9 so b9 draws a bill upon a9 a9 accepts it and this bill is drawn and accepted on 1st of october 21 correct question states the bill was discounted by b at 6% per annum and tenure of the bill is 3 months tenure is 3 months it is written 3 months bill further amount is rupees 20000 so b is in need of money he draws a bill discounts it just hold on
ठीक है तो मेरे को कॉल कर देना ठीक है आठ बजे करीब कॉल कर देना extremely sorry so examination time is still on and uh, queries need to be addressed so that is the reason i am keeping my phone on so i hope you will bear this much of what we call inconvenience anyway so on 11021 i was going through the question and uh, question states that further uh, where is the question right now bill was discounted by b9 at 6% per annum we presume exact date is not given so we presume on this date bill has been discounted B now discounts the bill. What will be the amount of discount? Twenty thousand given to us at six percent, six by hundred, and three months prior to the date of maturity. So one thousand two hundred divided by four comes to three hundred. So three hundred. That been out of twenty thousand, three hundred will be discount, and nineteen thousand seven hundred is the amount which B nine will receive, no doubt. But he will receive the money, so his financial problem will get a little bit solved, correct? Now what happens? Prior to the maturity date, because this bill has now reached in the hands of the bank, now bank will approach A nine. But A nine was logically under no obligation. he signed the bill only for the sake of friendship so on the maturity date maturity date will be 4 3 days grace we will add 3 months so we will reach january and we will reach 22 on 4th of january 22 that is maturity date two things will happen b9 will pay a9 on this date b9 is supposed to pay bill amount to mr a9 correct so that a9 could clear this bill are you getting my point or not this is how the entire story will unfold i hope you are able to understand so now we are in a position so this was the question correct so i am keeping the question over here now and we are in a position to do and solve it it is simple not very tough one so in this case one party is drawing the bill but only <laughs> the drawer is using the money this is the first situation correct so books of b9 books of b9 now we pick up and uh, we will write the date 1st of october 21 don't write entry for sales correct you are simply receiving the bill signed by your friend br account debit name of your friend is a9 this is the name correct debit write the amount 20000 bill br drawn or simply bill drawn and accept it then we got the bill discounted on 1st of october 2021 we shall write the entry bank account debit no corresponding entry will be made in the books of a9 as you know now bank account debit 19700 is the amount which we shall receive we shall write discounting charges discounting charges we computed the discounting charges to the extent of 300 now this bill will move out of our hand and will move into the hands of bank but we got the money we are discounted important point is that we got the money we we can use the money for 3 months and we can overcome our financial crisis now on the maturity date that will be 4th of january 22 next year on this day two things will happen correct first of all it is the duty of b9 to pay to a9 so that is why 
entry passed by B9 will be like this A9 account debit to cash account. Twenty thousand. He will make full twenty thousand payment amount paid to clear the bill. Or to meet the bill, whatever you may like to write. Now we are not going to pass any entry for the honorment of the bill correct because we are not honoring the bill so on our side the story is over now we move over to the books of what we call a9 books of a9 books of a9 in the books of a9 first entry will be made on 1st of october 21 we accepted a bill we will write what is the name of the party b9 b9 account debit two bills payable account Twenty thousand. Acceptance given. Correct acceptance has been given. No corresponding entry will be passed in our books for discounting, but we will reach the maturity date now, fourth of January. Four one twenty two. on this date we are going to receive cash account debit first we will receive the amount from b9 we'll write here to b9 amount received now we will honor the bill bank will come to us with the bp return the bp to us we will pay 20000 to bank bill honored so this is the entry which you are going to pass correct so in the upcoming session we will have a look over the two more situation to finish off this chapter